the search engine google is showing this light so doodle in south africa on 12th august 2023 to celebrate the 95th birthday of fatima mir a south african writer artist scholar and anti apartheid activist she advocated for human rights and gender equality and helped to found many organizations that sought to improve the quality of life in south africa mir was born on this day in 1928 in durban as a child she helped to produce her family owned newspaper indian views and they learned about the harsh realities of south african society these early experiences nurtured her english proficiency and shaped the foundation of her career mir's political activism started in high school in 1946 she helped create the student passive resistance committee in support of the indian passive resistance campaign and was invited to speak at several mass rallies she went on to study sociology at the university of natal Her rising popularity as an activist caught the attention of both the public and the South African government. In 1952, as a result of the suppression of Communism Act, Mir was banned from attending any public gatherings and prohibited from publishing any works for 3 years. Although the ban was meant to suppress her voice and ideas, it instead fanned the flames in her heart. Throughout her career, Mir helped organize many public gatherings including women's marches night vigils to protest against mass detention of anti apartheid activists and more she also co-founded various groups like the federation of south african women the black women's federation the institute of black research and the concerned citizens group beyond her activism meer became involved in charity work published several books and taught sociology at her alma mater She was close friends with the Mandela family and Nelson trusted her writing so much that he chose her to pen his first authorized biography higher than hope. 